Hi everyone, Pierre here from Into Flower Fishing and welcome to another gear review. In today's gear review video, we will be looking at a Euro nymphing rod that is very well known among competitive or competition anglers all around the world. The reason for this is that it's very high value and it's an exceptionally high performing rod. And this is the Vision Nymph Maniac. Right before we dive into the video, I just want to give a big shout out to Vision Fly Fishing who sent me this rod for a test and review. And personally, I want to thank the guys over at the Tactical Angler here in South Africa who stock all things Vision and they really made it possible helping out with all the shipping arrangements. Thanks so much, guys. As part of the disclaimer, I just want to mention again that this rod was sent to me for a test and review. But I'm in no way influenced or obliged to say anything that I don't feel is true. So what you're seeing in this video is my own thoughts and my own opinions and nothing more or nothing less. Now let's get on to the matter at hand. The entire Nymph Maniac range is, as you'd guess, dedicated urine nymphing rods. These rods were designed with some of the best competition anglers in Europe. So you know you're getting something that is very finely tuned at this style of fishing. Currently, there are around eight rods in the Nymph Maniac range, um, ranging from an 11 foot 2 weight, I think, to a 10 foot 5 weight. So there's really a lot of rods in this range. And what we're fishing and what we're testing today is the 10 foot 3 weight, which in my opinion is one of the best all-rounder rods. So let's look at how and where the rod was tested, as this has a massive impact on, on my thoughts on the rod. And you could also measure my thoughts and what I say against what your intended application is. So Chris and I, so Chris is the guy that are shooting these videos and editing these videos and he really does a great job at all of that. Thanks Chris. Anyway, so Chris and I went to the small trout streams close to Cape Town, um, close to where I stay and the fish we generally target are in the 7 to 15 inch range and it's really not a massive river, they are small rivers so this is where we fished this rod. Even though these rivers are very small, it's very important to have a stick with you that is extremely versatile. In the mornings, you, you probably fished a single dry or a dry and dropper, and maybe in the late evenings, there's a rise again. But it is important to have a nymphing rod or a rod that is capable of nymphing, as especially during our summer months, um, it gets very, very hot, so in excess of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the fish generally tend to drop down into deep holes and fast runs. So this is when you really need a sensitive and good urine nymphing rod to get down to those fish and target them where they are lying. I mostly fish the rod with a matching Vision XLV nymphing reel and the Vision Ultralight nymph line, which in my opinion is really a great nymphing line. And if you are thinking of buying this rod, just make sure that you buy a proper nymphing line and I could really recommend that line. It just brings out the best of this rod. And anyway, so um, that was the rod, the reel and the line combo that we fished. And at the end of the fly line, I attached the standard urinamphing leader. It was a 3X leader and it included um, a sata and a tippet ring. And from the tippet ring, I ran 6X monofilament um, to two flies. On a side note, um, if you want to learn the quickest way to attach two flies or to create a dropper knot, we did a video on that. Um, I'll drop the link to that in the description below. Um, this around here, there will probably appear a pop-up as well. So that video um, just shows a very quick way um, of tying a dropper knot and it's something that I use every day on the water. Even if I go still water fishing and we're targeting up to 10 pound um, rainbow trout, those knots hold um, and it's something that really saves you a lot of time and frustration on the water. So now let's have a closer look at the rod itself. So let's first look at where I think the Vision Nymph Maniac shines. I know this is true of most great rods or probably all great rods, but the thing that keeps popping into my head when I think about this rod is how good the blank is. It is really exceptional. It has a very smooth action. So it's not ultra fast. It is, it is really like a medium fast action. But what makes that so sweet is it is rounded off with very good recovery rate. In a sense, it reminds me a lot of the Epic 590G or the five weight nine foot graphene rod that we um, reviewed. Not that it's the same kind of rod. I mean, the application is completely different. But what I mean is that um, it's one of those rods that you pick up and you actually forget about it. It just does what you want it to do. If you want to 
if you want to throw a very far line on that um, epic rod you can do that if you want to be delicate you can do that you you just forget about it it just feels like it's part or extension of your body and this is the same feeling that i get from this rod you pick it up you're not aware that it is super light or heavy or that it's tip heavy um, it just does with what you want it to do and with that great recovery rate that it has it really gives you that confidence to make those tricky casts that you normally wouldn't do so where might the vision nymph maniac 10 foot 3 weight version uh, fall short for your intended application so first let's look at where a 10 foot 3 weight might fall short so if you're fishing very large rivers um, the 10 foot 3 weight might be either too short for drag free drifts or 3 weight might be a little bit too light so if you're fishing those kind of rivers larger rivers um, for fish that are really you, you stand a chance in hooking into like a 10 pound or a you know 13 14 pound trout in a very strong river this three weight might be a little bit too light and also if you're fishing small smaller rivers um, which have dense overgrowth um, the 10 foot rod might might make it a little bit too difficult for you it depends on on how comfortable you feel with it obviously but just be just be aware of that if that is the case um, the nymph maniac range is quite extensive so there are other options out there for instance just in the three weight version um, there's a nine foot six which is actually very very versatile um, you know it's just a half a foot shorter so it, it does feel a lot more normal um, if i can say that so that is a great option if you're fishing smaller streams or wanting to do longer casts um it's it's i would say that rod is almost like a nymphing dry fly rod um and if you want a longer rod they have an 11 foot and i think a 10 foot 6 version 2 and there are other weights as i mentioned earlier there are there are i think the largest weight or the highest rate is weight is up to a 5 weight so there are other options out there the other thing that i just want to mention about where the rod might for short for you is actually more of a consideration that you should keep in mind when you buy it and especially after you've bought it how you handle the rod these high performance very lightweight rods it doesn't matter if you spend a thousand dollars on it seven hundred dollars two hundred dollars it doesn't matter on the amount you spend on it but in general these high performance rods are very sensitive or um, i wouldn't say prone to breaking i'm just saying they can't handle as much abuse as a very heavy, th thick walled um, hero nymphing rod or any rod for that matter. So I would just say once you buy it and you fish and you see there's a dense bush that you need to go through, rather just break it at least in two and just walk through the bush. If you pop the car, uh, the rod, just put it in your car. Don't do that. Just break it in two. And I'm sure um, that kind of care that you take um, will really make this rod last a lot longer now let's dive into the rods build details um, and accessories a little bit um, the rod is shipped in this cordura covered tube which is like a dark gray or a slate um, there's probably a lot of interesting names but it's a dark gray all of the writing and stickers on it is like a chartreuse color which matches the rod um, the rods accessories Right here on the cap, you'll find details of the rod. So the rod model, Nymph Maniac, and then um, also the rod's physical details. So it's a 10 foot three weight, four piece. So that is there, just helps you to identify the rod a lot easier when it's they all stack together. Obviously you have the vision name on the side and the Nymph Maniac and a nice little, I think, yeah, little Mayfly um, drawing right there. So that is the tube that it comes with. It also has a little handle here. Nothing really to write home about. The rod does not come in a sock. So inside this tube, you'll find four dividers and each section just slides into that divider. So if you like carrying your rod in a sock um, and put multiple rods together in a bigger tube, just be aware of this, that you might have to buy or purchase a separate rod sock for this. Now let's look at the rod itself. I'm starting here at the butt section. Um, the rod, this 10 foot 3 weight version, does not have a fighting butt, as you can see. 
As far as I can gather, the only model that currently comes out with a fighting button, that would be like a very bright EVA um, foam fighting butt, like a green. Um, the only rod that does come out with it is the 11 foot 3 weight. Um, you can decide if this is a deal breaker for you or not. For me, it's not necessarily, although I would have liked to see a small fighting butt. It just makes it a lot more comfortable when you're high stick right here. Um, especially after you've spent a really long day out on the water. There's an uplocking reel seat um, on this 10 foot 3 weight version. Once again, I think the 11 foot 3 weight has a downlocking version, which just helps to balance the rod a lot better. Um, this uplocking reel seat is made from black aluminum and it has a single locking ring. Once again, I would have liked to see two locking rings and just secures your reels a lot better. The insert isn't wood as you normally see. This is just like a compressed um, cork. It really looks great, but it's not necessarily as durable as a hardwood, but it really does look great and it suits the rod. Um, you can once again decide if that's a deal breaker for you or not. I think that Vision did a great job on the shape of the grip. Um, together with the rod sensitivity, I think that um, this grip really translates a lot of information and feedback and feel um, from, from the rod. So really great job there. It's nice and fine and you can really almost slide your finger onto the blank, which is really great. Um, I wouldn't say the cork is of great quality and I think this is one of the places where Vision cut back on the cost to really make the rod affordable. It's not terrible, but there are quite a lot of spots with filling in them. So just be aware of that, which is fine. It doesn't influence the rod's fishing capability at all. Don't expect a Thomas & Thomas or a um, Sage's quality of cork, but that's 100% fine. Once again, the shape is awesome and it does have a rubberized cork ring in the front and the back just to give it an accent and also make it more durable. Um, one of the other cool things is that the rod includes measurement markers. And we'll talk about that later when we talk about the finish of the rod. But the first measurement marker is this little green uh, marker right here in the grip. And if you measure from the base of the rod here from the end cap to this green marker, that is 20 centimeters. Now to the blank itself. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a perler. It has a medium fast action, which really helps you to load the rod even with no fly line out of the rod so it almost loads on its own weight as you go back the rod bends back so it loads with the weight of the rod or the weight of the tip and a little bit of monofilament so 10 or 20 feet of monofilament and the weight of two flies so you are really able to load the rod to deliver the fly forward or flies forward without having fly line out of the rod and that's really a characteristic trait of most um, good hero nymphing rods but this action is really well rounded off with incredible recovery so what that means is as soon as you deliver the flies and the rod goes down and it comes up but there's no oscillation and this oscillation is really what um, takes away from a lot of rods performance so if you deliver the fly um, or flies and the rod oscillates it firstly creates a, a wave in the in the line that you delivered um, and it also makes that you don't have very accurate costs so um, but the vision of maniac has great recovery and and this good recovery rate the fact that it doesn't oscillate makes it more accurate and that gives you more confidence to make uh, a lot harder costs the first stripper guide is placed on the second section of the rod so you see it's not here on the butt section as most new modern um, urine anything rods and that's something that i would have liked to see and the fact that it's on the second section means that from that section down to your hand there's usually a lot of slack or there are methods of mitigating this but it's a lot harder work so i would have liked to see that really brought back a little bit all of the other line guides are single foot guides um, which just reduce the weight except the one just below the tip top is a snake guard which supposedly and it really does help that your uh, fly line doesn't get stuck there so that the line doesn't wrap around your rod tip all the time if you spend a lot of time on the water especially with these soft urine nymphing rods you'll know what i'm talking about it really can be a headache if that is the case um, i would recommend this is just a side note that you improve the splice between the top of your leader and your fly line 
Um, there are a lot of videos on YouTube. We'll also do a video on this just to show you a couple of methods of smoothening out that joint, which just helps you on the water. The rod has a smooth matte carbon finish, which helps to reduce rod flash and glare on the water. And this is really helpful at short fishing distances like you do with your um, and on bright sunny days. All the line guides and accessories are secured with a dark olive or a dark green thread wraps with chartreuse accent wraps. As mentioned earlier, when we spoke about the grip, the rod has these measurement markers. The grip has the first one, which is 20 centimeters. And then further up the rod, there's a 30 centimeter mark, a 40 centimeter mark and a 50 centimeter mark. All these measurements are from the base of the butt section here at the end cap. I measured them and they are all very precise. The clear coat on the thread wraps and all of the accessories are applied very evenly and there are no signs of bubbles or discoloration, so there's no problem there. So let's look at what my personal thoughts are on the Vision Nymph Maniac 10 foot 3 weight version. On the pro side, the rod has an incredible blank with a great action and a great recovery rate. The tip sensitivity is very good, as you'd expect from a great nymphing rod. The rod is actually a lot more versatile than I originally thought or that the name suggests. Um, it is actually a great small stream rod. I was able to fish single drives with it and the great thing about that sensitive tip is that if you can go down to 6 or 7x tip it without really worrying, as soon as you set the hook the tip just takes up all that shock and it really bends a lot so it helps you to keep the fish on even though the fish are jumping very wildly. I also love the fact that the rod includes these measurement markers. It's something new. It's something that I haven't seen on many other rods. And it just shows you that it is a competition orientated rod. The rod is also exceptional value coming in at just under $400. On the con side, these small things that I'm going to mention now aren't going to influence the rod's performance at all or doesn't influence them at all. It's just something that you need to know. The rod doesn't come with a sock, so if you do travel with multiple rods on a big tube, just make sure that you buy an extra sock for it um, because it just comes in the tube which has four compartments for each section of the rod. The reel is also secured with only one locking ring. I have had an issue where it comes loose slightly and this is a normal thing for most rods that only have um, a single locking ring. And if you use a heavy reel, this is going to be more evident. Um, so just take note of that, that you can really tighten it down quite hard to secure that reel. <clears throat> the other thing is that the grips cork isn't of the best quality, but we've already covered that. So who should consider buying the Vision Nymph Maniac 10 foot 3 weight fly rod? Well, this is pretty easy. If you're considering buying a Euro nymphing rod for medium to small rivers, this is or should at least be on your list. If it's not, put it on there. It's a great rod to fish and most anglers that I know that have bought one are holding on to them. They're not letting them go. I know that they're not very well known or readily available in the States, but that's not because they are poorer or inferior quality rods. In fact, I actually think they punch well above their price range. I hope that you found this review on the Vision Nymph Maniac fly rod helpful and insightful. If you have any comments or questions, or suggestions on the way that we do reviews please leave them down in the comment section down below also if you have a vision of maniac let us know what your thoughts are even if they're negative if they're positive just let us know um, it really helps uh, us to understand the rod a lot better because this is obviously mostly a one-sided sort of opinion please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on the notifications then we can let you know as soon as we release any future reviews tutorials or vlog series um, we would really appreciate that until next time cheers